Welcome to another wonderful episode of Foodies and Spice. My name is Gina and today on the show I'm making experimental cooking. Experimental cooking. Okay, there's this thing we did on my page at Gina Foodies and Spice on Instagram and Facebook.com slash Foodies Spice. So this particular time I posted um, the picture of some ingredients I've used. Remember the picture I used for the porridge, yam potato recipe, yam and plantain potato, and I asked them what else can they do with those ingredients and I had over 200 um, comments on both um, Instagram and Facebook and people talked about various ways they can use these ingredients and um, I chose a winner, they won 5k each, but there were some recipes that I really, really loved. But they didn't win that day because I was trying to check, okay, how would it taste? So I decided that I'm going to use the same ingredients, prepare these three recipes the way Uchanta and the other ladies wrote them on the page. And the one that is best, that I really like, that person will win 10,000 Naira. So we are about to try those recipes now with these very lovely ingredients. You know them already. Yam, plantain, scent leaf, pepper, fish, palm oil, salt, crayfish, and onions, the neighbor discover. Go call your friends, neighbors, everybody. Foodies and Spice is about to start and we are making some very beautiful new things. If it's sweet, all of us go see them. If it's not good, all of us go still see them. But, but somebody is about to win 10,000 Naira right about now. All right guys, so let's start with Uchanta's recipe first. Uchanta says, she will blend the yam and plantain with the pepper and onions, boil the fish and debone it, add oil, crayfish, palm oil and scent leaf to the mix, add the deboned fish, add salt and seasoning to taste, then mix together, scoop into containers or moi moi ripe and steam for 30 minutes. So uh, first thing I will be doing now is to boil the fish. I think the three of them have boiled the fish in their recipes. I'm going to add about a quarter of a medium bulb of onions. I'll be adding one seasoning cube and just enough water for it to steam. Then I'll cover it. The yam will be next. She said we have to blend the yam and the plantain together. So but I will blend the yam first. So I'm going to be adding the plantain now, maybe to add some moisture to it. If it's not working properly, I'll transfer it to a blender because at least it's been beating down a bit. We are looking for a smooth texture. So, I'll be using one plantain. Let me say one and a half for the soda recipe. I'll commercial it with that yam. I'm going to be sending it to a blender. All right. So what we have here is just good enough and I'll pour it into my bowl. So this is good. And um, we're not done. Yeah, we're supposed to blend the pepper and onions also. So pepper to your taste. So I'll just add, this pepper is hot. This should be enough. And I'll add the remaining half bulb of onions. Um, because I wouldn't want to add so much water to this thing, I'll take some of this to blend it together and just a little water so that it will move. Okay, so this is good. And I will pour it in here. This is looking beautiful already. 
I'll take one fish, leave the rest for the other recipes. Mm, okay, maybe two. Let's take two. And I'll remove the bone. She asks that we remove the bone. So bone removed. I'm going to add it into So the next thing, she said the, the scent leaves will have to chop it and put it into the, the mix. The palm oil goes in as well. I think that's good, about one cooking spoon. It's fine, if I, after mixing it, if I need more, I'll add. Then about one tablespoon of um, crayfish will be fine so one seasoning cube is fine so I'll begin to mix now everything together this looks good think of moi moi think of corn pudding think of plantain pudding so we'll call this Yam and plantain pudding. We have a name for this one now. So if you want your yam to be smoother than this, use your blender to blend very well. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to wash my hand to remove the salt I touched so I can ascertain the real taste. And wow. Plantain. I'm sure when Uchanta sees this on TV or online, she's going to be very surprised. All right, so she said we can either put it in cooking cups, ramekins, or moi moi leaf. So I'm using the wrapping leaf today. So the next thing I will do is to line my pot with the stick from the leaf. I'll add about Two cups of water, just enough to steam the yam and plantain. Now begin to lay my yam and plantain. So for the next person's own evangel, evangel wants us to first of all. Peel the yams and plantain and boil till it becomes very soft. So we're going to do that now. Um, I will not be peeling the skin of my plantain to boil, so I'll just uh, maybe cut it into three. So I'll just slice into two. Okay, so after rinsing the yam, I just rinse, you add the yam to cook and you add the plantain to cook that's according to evangel and the next thing she wants us to do is to chop the onions blend the pepper and chop the scent leaves so i'm going to be adding the oil now about one cooking spoon to I'm going to add some salt to the oil, then the onions and pepper. Now pepper according to your taste to allow the swan fry. So because of time and because I'm doing these three recipes together, you see how I have rearranged my um, stove top or my cooker top. Yeah, that's because I want everything to be cooking almost at the same time. Now this pepper sauce is ready and I'm going to be adding the crayfish. About one spoon is okay. And I'm going to be adding seasoning cubes and I will stir. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of salt because I'm not putting any salt in that yam. Just a little bit and some of that 
scent leaves and I'll stir, stir, stir. This is actually ready. So I'm going to turn it off, um, check the yam if it's done so I can get them ready to bake. So if this yam is ready, that means the plantain is ready. The yam is ready, it's soft. So what I'm going to do now is to fish out the plantain, remove the skin, drain that water, then mash. I'll add the plantain to so everything mash together. See, this will work best for you if it's still hot. If you mash it when it's no longer hot, you might not like the texture. So I've just turned off the yam and plantain pudding. That's the one we took that we put in the leaf. I cooked it for about 30 to 35 minutes. So we'll check on it later. This has been mashed. I'm just going to take the spoon to mix it together. You can even taste it like this. It's nice. So Evangel said we should add the sauce. Into it. That's the sauce, and we are gonna mix. So we add the sauce into it and mix it. I actually feel like using my hand to rub it all together to make sure it incorporates very well. Mash again, mash and mix, mash and mix. So this looks good. So I will take my baking pan, she said a rectangular baking pan, and I'll just oil it. So I'm using the palm oil to oil it. Now these, like I said, are just experiments from what everybody's saying. Now if you want to use any other ingredients, if you like any of those things I'm doing, you can just change the ingredients, like the palm oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use coconut oil, anything you wish. So this has been oiled. So I'll quickly just heat up my oven and continue to lay this. The next thing I'm going to do is to sprinkle the fish. So I'm just going to sprinkle the fish just like Evangel said. Oh, I would like this fish to be incorporated into the yam. So I'll have to press it into it. Now, I keep telling people, recipes are developed by just thinking up something. Our ancestors passed us a lot of recipes. We should think of the things we want to pass to our children, okay? So that's the reason why I did that. I just wanted people to think out of the box and see what they can do with those regular ingredients instead of just making porridge with it. Okay, so this is good. And she says, this is what we have. And she says we put it in the oven. So I'm going to go set this in the oven. So I will just set it in my oven. Allow it cook for about, let me set it on 40 minutes though. So but I'll let it cook for like um, 30 to 35. I'll check it at 30 to 35 minutes. <laughs> Now this is our third recipe from Jacinta Nathan's Biose is her name on Facebook and she says boil fish season with crayfish and salt okay we boiled the fish earlier um, we did not season it with crayfish so we're going to add the crayfish into this mix here so let's say we have the crayfish here already and she says um, chop raw plantain and yam into small chunks and blend together with pepper to form a paste so i have the blended yam and plantain here with the pepper and um, onion to form the paste so um she says mix the fish with the paste add the onion and scent leaf so i've added the fish and um the scent leaf she says add the scent leaves to this mix too so a sprinkle of scent leaf is fine and she says adjust the taste with salt and crayfish so I'll add some salt I'll add some crayfish I added crayfish before I'll then add my seasoning cubes so I'm going to mix this she's asking us to fry 
it in palm oil so i'm going to mix this first before frying in palm oil i'm just going to add a little bit of water because that paste looks very thick so just a little bit of water and i'll mix it so i'll clear here up heat my oil up then begin to fry so what i did off camera is to put this thing in the food processor again and mix everything together because i saw that i wasn't everything wasn't mixing together properly so i used the blender to mix it together the oil is hot if you want to bleach it it's fine so i'll begin to fry this now so we'll call this yam and plantain fritters let me not overcrowd it this is fine for now so we allow one side cook turn the other side to cook later now because of its palm oil it will get brown on time yeah so give it some time to cook properly okay this is ready too Everything about this yam and plantain is ready today, so it's time for us to go testing and determine which is better. Now, the one who's going to taste it, the one I prefer, is the person that wins the 10,000 naira. So I'm just going to set it in front of me now and begin to taste them all. Foodaholics. Tell me well done. It's been a beehive of activities in the studio today. Preparing these three dishes using the same ingredient. I did not add anything extra on anything. The same ingredient. And this is for Evangel. Evangel wrote this baked plantain and yam. Yeah. And uh, Uchanta wrote this yam and plantain pudding. While Jacinta um, wrote this yam and plantain fritter so i will test uchanta's own first because that was the one we did first and so i taste this this tastes like okmogede and okmogi mixed together texture is not bad if you are used to those ones okmogede and okmogi you will definitely like this it's not bad at all this is very African, very native. You will like it. So let's go to the Oibo one, the big one. Okay? From Evangel. I'm liking the texture of um, Evangel's own. I, I love it. Especially the, the top, but somehow, because I turned it, so that top, the, the fish top, or the fish layer top, because I turned it, it's beneath. So I'll look for a way to take the picture and turn it back. To the other side too, but this is texture looks good to me wow wow this is good it's flaked the flaked fish kind of dried up a bit then the under is kind of caramelized sweet this is really good i like this one i like it now let's go to the fritters for the fritters this is how it looks like i like i like the way it looks i like it the inside so if this was not palm oil um probably it would look better but palm oil has a way of making everything look reddish uh -huh. okay not bad Not bad at all, just like what I was expecting. The taste of yam, the taste of plantain, not bad. This, very traditional. This is beautiful as well. You can use for breakfast, lunch, dinner or a side snack. This just takes it up to a whole new level. 
Same ingredients. So I honestly prefer this. So if Angel wins our 10,000 Naira, if you know how to, to come and pick it up from me, you all right? Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this whole journey with me. Now to be part of all these trivia games and winning, follow me on all my social media platforms. This is lovely. This is so lovely. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram, at Gina Foodies and Spice. Facebook, Foodies Spice. Twitter, at Gina Moore. Oh, so lovely. See you next week with another beautiful recipe. Wow. Love you.